spooky, spooky. I look crazy. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jazz and today we're gonna just be spooky because because why the holy moly me am I not? Like, it's September, which means it's Halloween almost in a few months. So, I just want to do something makey and... Oh, <laughs> my tripod broke, so you're on a pile of cushions. And I think I need to add another... Oh, it might be okay. I'll just have a good posture. It'll be fine. Um, we're making pumpkins. My sister got me this. It, she didn't give it like to me, it was her old one and she was throwing it away and she said do you want to make something out of this for my sewing kit. So it's this rather hideous colour pink top and it's not going to suit me because light colours don't suit me. I'm, well I usually just wear black but um, I will try it on just so we can all laugh at how funny it will be. Anyway, um, this is going to be my fabric. So, we're gonna make pumpkins. A little, I'm thinking, a little pumpkin, pumpkins on string, on like a ribbon. I, I guess like a garland. Could you be any louder? Anyway, we're just gonna do that. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be wild and funky and awesome. Okay, cool. Top, let's try it on because it will look ridiculous. Okay, let's just start. You will need your ingredients. Also, look at this spooky fabric I put on the sofa. How spooky, I love it. Oh, talking of spooky, you need some spooky tea. So I got my cat mug and oh, you're not ready. Look at my, you know I'm a loose tea lover, so. It's a little skull. Hang on, let me try and, ah, oh, the chain is hot because metal conducts heat. It's a little cute little skull, how adorable. Ow, it's very hot. You will need the spooky tea, the hideous garment. Also, I know, I know, I know, what? I know this isn't orange, but I just thought like little pink pumpkins would be hashtag adorable. So we're good to gonna give it a go. And also if you look really closely, it's got like, you see the lines like ribbed? Is that the effect? I don't know. Uh, what else will we need? We'll need a thread. I'm using this one because I, well, it's the first one I saw that was vaguely familiar. I probably could match this. The amount of threads and sewing stuff I own, I could 100% match this exactly, but I can't be bothered. So we're having cream. I don't like the color cream. Um, I've got a little needle wedged in there. Um, I'm, I'm opting to use, you can't really see, hang on. Okay, so it's not really a sharp needle. It's like a blunt needle. It's called an embroidery needle for doing embroidery. And I'm using that because, well, I'm going to be watching some television. Well, I suppose it's not television. I'm gonna be, what? well, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to be watching some Agatha Christie's Poirot <laughs> while doing <laughs> my sewing because I'm literally an old woman. What else do we need? Oh, the scissors. I think that's all we need. Oh, and we need toy stuffing. Oh, and I left the ribbon up to We need ribbon and toy stuffing. I'll get them in a moment. Scissors. I don't know where on earth my dressmaking scissors have disappeared to. These are kitchen scissors. I found them in the kitchen. Hopefully they're going to cut, but you never know. So we might have to get better scissors, but it should be fine. It'll, it will be fine. Okay, we're actually going to start, start now. Oh, I'm exhausted from trying this whole thing on. Right. Because I like minimal work, I am going to, you see the sleeve? I'm just gonna snip that off and then come back. That is the sleeve. See this bit? I'm going to make it into a straight line, hang on. I'm just gonna go sneak. Um, I changed my words, straight-ish. It probably doesn't even matter. This is a good example. Because these bits, 
save those bits because we're going to use them as like stuffing. Do you know what I mean? Like so we don't waste them or throw them in the bin. That's like a square-ish kind of. It's still not that straight but it's fine. This is a bad example. <laughs> I've shown you with the sleeves because it was less work for me but with the rest of the top okay imagine okay this is a cylinder okay yeah kind of you see the inside seam imagine I'm not gonna do it but imagine if that was cut you'd have one long rectangle you understand I'm just gonna make one out of this this is the bottom of the top um, I'm just gonna cut here and make a long strip, you understand? I'll, hang on, should I show you? Yeah, I'm gonna show you. Okay, I know that's not very straight. However, it doesn't need to be because I like wonky pumpkins. If you're a precise person, you can by all means do it precisely. Okay, now I'm going to cut this into one big long strip. The way I'm gonna do that, get one of the ends, slide my scissors in, this is a seam. Okay. Now we have one long strip, you see? Okay, now out of this one strip, I'm gonna fold about that much. It doesn't really matter how much. You're basically, you just wanna make like a long rectangle. Hang on, let me cut this. Okay, I've put you back up here. This is my long rectangle that I was literally just on about. And what we're going to do is long rectangle, fold in half, the two we're gonna sew. It doesn't matter how you sew, just make sure it's sewed. <laughs> I mean, I can't be bothered to get my machine out and I don't mind hand sewing. So I'm gonna get my needle and thread and sew it shut so that it will look like this. You understand? This is the sleeve. <laughs> so it's like, it's like a little bracelet, you see? A little bracelet, cute. Okay, we're gonna do that. <laughs> that was such a fake transition because I'm just gonna use this one. double threading mine like you know what I mean is that what it's called double thread I haven't sewn in like over a year that's so upsetting I'm basically just doing a running stitch round the top like this doesn't have to be neat for mine because I want lots of different shaped pumpkins because I whenever I go and see pumpkins like in the supermarket or hopefully this year I'm going to go to a pumpkin field like what was I saying no pumpkin looks the same and when I go pumpkin picking when I'm about to pick a pumpkin like to carve or whatever or to make soup because I'm gonna make a recipe on pumpkin soup this year I've been meaning to do it for years in and out, in and out. oh if you don't know what a running stitch is you just go in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out until you get back to where you started I cheat and I scrunch it all up on the needle and then pull it through. <laughs> but like that's okay for this. This is what I like about making pump. Well, actually, I've never made a pumpkin before. I'm just hoping this is gonna work. Oh, you don't forget to tie a knot at the beginning. I probably should have said that at the beginning. Hang on, I've buggered it up. One minute. Okay, now I've done a. This keeps getting in the way. I'm gonna hunch. Now I've done my running stitch all the way around the top edge. I'm going to get the needle, I haven't tied it off, and I'm going to pull it taut, and it makes little ruffly things. Can you see? It's like a little, it's like a little hat. I wanna put this on my cat right now. I really wanna, where's my cat? Be bees. Oh, I can't find her. This will look so cute on my little kid. Kid ass, kid ass. I feel like I'm getting closer and closer. Let's like stand back. There we go. So now you've made a little hat for your cat that you can't find. I'm gonna tie a knot. 
Come on, I'm going to attempt to tie, to tie a knot. I'm gonna, oh, I can't tie the knot. Okay. If you don't know how to tie a knot, you just go round and then through, but I feel like everyone knows. Okay. This fabric is, it's shinier on one side and matter on the other. So I'm gonna flip mine. So then you've got a little anus. I shouldn't describe it as an anus, hang on. Jade showed me people stick sharpies up their bottoms and apparently it's like a trend, but I don't know trends, but like, you do you. Okay, now you've got a pouch. You see? Oh, I have to cut the string, hang on, one minute. Now, you see the bottom edge, we're going to running stitch all, just like we did at the top, or did I call it the bottom? I don't really know what I called it, but we're going to do it here at the bottom, and then we're going to stuff it. Okay, do you want to watch me do it? I don't mind. Oh, do you know what I really need? A blooming a sip of tea, because... <laughs> Oh my god, tea is the elixir of life, isn't it? Stop making noise. Oh, hopefully that should be a little bit quieter. Okay, where oh, My worst habit is I put the needle down and I forget where I put it. Oh, I've also lost my, um, pumpkin. Oh, it's here. I sat on it with my leg. Put a knot on the end. Running stitch. Let's start here. In and out and in and out. I love sewing because me and my grandma always used to sew together. We still sew together sometimes, but we usually do other stuff. Okay, I've gone all the way around and I'm back. I dropped it. Now, before we pull it tight to make it ruffled like this, we're going to stuff it with the toy stuffing. This is just super soft toy stuffing and cushion filling. You could literally use anything that looks a bit like that. And you usually need a lot more than you think you do. So I'm gonna start with this amount. Oh, is that okay? Let me test. Ah, it looks like an onion! I love onions. <gasps> Can you get pink onions? Can you get pink pumpkins? That is the question. I'm going to put a little bit more. Where's the bit from earlier? You can stuff your scrap fabrics in there too. And then I'm gonna pull it. Oh, remove your finger. Tuck it in. Coming pumpkin -y. Okay, and now we tie our knot. What I like to do to tie it off is, you can't really see, but you know the knot, the knot you tie at the first, like at the beginning of your running stitch, I like to pull it a bit loose and then knot that end, pull it nice and tight after you've pulled it loose like this. I'm doing it nice and tight and then I tie both ends together. <sighs> now we have a pumpkin askew shape this same needle and thread i haven't even cut it off i'm going to go straight up the bum but not with a sharpie and i'm going to come out the top somewhere i'm going to take this and i'm going to go round round through the bum at the top like that and then i'm going to move along a bit around we're making the little um, i don't know what they're called like the divots in the pumpkin you know the lines, the butt cracks. Okay, and then we pull. See? We're just gonna go all the round until we have enough butt cracks. Meow. Hey. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna like make more with the entire fabric and then I'll come back and we can figure out how to make little stems and put them on string. My camera's dying, what the heck? Ugh. What's this? 
Still only made one. I got distracted. Oh, I want to put this on my cat. Oh my god. Well, this ship that is not a ship, it is how you say a mother. Yes, Pa. Uh, but of course, my poor Hastings, he still has the food poisoning. Oh, I've had to stop for dinner. This is my dinner. It's kind of like tapas. Yummers. Hello. It is the next day. I fell asleep and I've been sewing. These are my pumpkins. I've done them all. Um, and now I'm going to get black ribbon. Ooh. See this? Hang on. Hang. Like this. I'm going to make a little loop. I'm going to sew it on like this. Does that make sense? Can you see? I'm going to sew it like that to make a loop with black ribbon on top of the pumpkin. Also, while we're here, look what else I made. I got a bit carried away and I got distracted. I'm going to have earrings. So now I have options. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I do indeed find this to be a wonderful garment as well, so, you know. Wow, sassy. Wow, these are like obnoxious, I love it. I'm gonna put my hat back on, it makes me look cool. <laughs> okay, I also made, <laughs> I also made these, these pumpkin earrings. Um, from the little pumpkins like, which and they're a bit dramatic and I absolutely love them because hi that is the end of this video I'm about to film another video toodaloo